I'm here again today. Hello, Goy's son. Did you manage to catch any bass? And also something that's very rare. Over the years, X Plus has offered exclusive versions of their figures available only from the X Plus store in Japan, known as Rick Editions. These exclusive versions often contain various accessories, swap out parts, variant paint schemes, small bonus figures, or light up functions. The new Hedra favorite sculptor's line Rick exclusive is, in my opinion, the very best, most generous, most bang for your buck exclusive ever offered by X Plus. And here's why. I purchased my X Plus Flying Form Hedra Rick Edition directly from the US Shonen Rick Online Store in Japan. Upon opening the shipping carton, I was greeted by the Rick exclusive seal of authenticity and what has become a beautiful staple of the favorite sculptor's line box art, a full color photograph of the classic Showa Kaiju. The box is wide but shallow and held together with six tabs of tape, which I prefer to cut rather than peel off and risk damaging the box. Opening the lid for the first time, I was hit with that new figure smell, which I have come to associate with newly unboxed final figures. The figure and accessories come sealed in a vacuum-formed plastic clamshell and shrouded in an additional plastic sheet to prevent paint scuffs during shipping. The accessories are individually wrapped and nested in their own compartments for extra protection, the most fragile of which being wrapped in several layers of bubble wrap. First up is the Hedra Tadpole and Petri dish. They come double and triple wrapped. The dish is a strong clear plastic that seems very glass-like. And the Tadpole is a single solid piece which is well painted and covered in a wet shiny sheen. And it can be placed in the dish as it appeared in the film. Now we have the swimming form Hedra, wrapped in protective plastic. This thing is a very nice size for a Rick Extra and is as lovingly sculpted and painted as any of the standalone pieces X Plus is known for releasing. Also included is a nicely painted, highly detailed sculpted terrain base, which feels like a harder, more solid piece than in previous efforts. And finally we have the flying form Hedra itself. First impression is a very positive one. Nice details in paint, and being in the 30 centimeter scale, this thing is way bigger than I imagined it would be. The Hedra tadpole found by the fisherman was about the size of a shoe, whereas the tadpole version that comes as one of the Rick extras is closer in size to a man's thumb. In the film, it's explained that Hedra starts out as many small tadpole-like creatures that thrive in polluted water. And when they find each other, they merge into a single, larger organism. The X Plus tadpole would fall somewhere in between the average size tadpole and the shoe sized one featured in the film. The glass dish, made of plastic for the X Plus, is also smaller than the one featured in the film, to accommodate the Hedra tadpole. The size and level of effort that went into the Rick exclusive tadpole is comparable to past exclusive minifigures such as the blue Proto-Orga alien, the flying message courier Jet Jaguar, the hatchling 1998 Tristar Godzilla, and the SY3 Moonlight Rocket, my first Rick exclusive I got packaged with the 25 centimeter scale Angorus. But X Plus was not content with the mini tadpole and the dish being the only Rick Extra to be included with this set. In the film, Hedra grows into a Volkswagen Beetle sized swimming form, which terrorizes the scientist's son Ken.
X Plus has provided a sizable rendition of this Hedra form as well. And in typical X Plus fashion, they once again nailed the likeness. When swimming form Hedra retreats back into the sea, it sets its sights on attacking the scientist as he is scuba diving nearby. When Hedra descends for the attack, we see for the first time his full body, outlined in silhouette. We can see X Plus straddle the line in the design between giving Hedra flippers and vestal legs. But where X Plus really excelled is in the furrowed, grumpy eyes of the fledgling Hedra. The next time we see Hedra, it has evolved into its crawling form. It crawls ashore and clumsily crawls along the industrial ports towards the smoke-spewing factory. X Plus also made a figure of this crawling form Hedra. Released in 2018, the version I bought was made of a squishy, extra soft vinyl, which came with a little plastic factory, and came in a plastic bag with a paper header card. On the X Plus Rick Extra swimming form figure, we see the beginnings of crawling form legs, which seem to be an artistic liberty inspired by the pre-production artwork rather than from the creature itself from the film. Landing stage Hedra, which is the form Hedra has taken when he first stands up and begins inhaling smoke straight out of the factory's smokestacks, was also produced by X Plus and was one of the rarest X Plus figures back in the day. The version I purchased was the 2018 Diamond reissue. In the film, Godzilla arrives and fights this version of Hedra for the first time. It's a pretty one-sided battle resulting in quite a bit of collateral damage. Godzilla, never one to back down from a fight, manhandles his adversary into submission. But Hedra, outmatched and outsized, retreats once again into the sea. You can't document all the different versions of Hedra that X Plus has produced in vinyl over the years without mentioning the large Monster Series 25cm scale Godzilla 1971 which I originally missed out on when it first dropped in 2015. I was, however, able to secure the reissue that was released two years later in 2017. Being the most widely used suit of the Showa era, this version of Godzilla became a sentimental favorite of mine from my childhood. There isn't a much better example than this that illustrates their faithfulness to reproducing suit accuracy in their sculpts. The wide, battle-ready stance, the subtle positioning of the fingers, X Plus really captures the essence and charm of the 1971 suit. The Rick exclusive extra for this release was a pair of swap out arms that could be used to recreate the iconic scene where Godzilla discovers eggs, or Hedra nuclei, inside the body of his defeated foe, as well as a scabbed over battle damaged eye patch from an earlier injury in the film Godzilla sustains from fighting Hedra. This Rick exclusive figure was so nice I bought it twice, to simultaneously display both versions. Now, the next time we see Hedra, it has achieved its flying form, which throughout the rest of the film reverts back and forth whenever the need to fly arises. You get to see the flying form Hedra in the film a handful of times. It retains its grumpy, furrowed brow and trademark red eyes, but its body becomes vaguely UFO-shaped sort of a flying saucer, more like a demonic mud frisbee. This X Plus favorite sculptor's line version of Hedra is the first flying form figure from the company and completes the set of evolutionary forms after years of waiting. Being a 30 centimeter scale figure, it is quite sizable, roughly the size of a dinner plate, and has all the detail and loving paint applications you come to expect from X Plus. But it isn't until I'm holding the figure in my hands that it strikes me as being horseshoe crab inspired in terms of its silhouette 
and its undercarriage. And it's from somewhere under there that it emits its acid mist exhaust fumes, which take out an all-girl gym class. A group of pedestrians who may or may not have been stunt performers because a few of them fell pretty funny. A construction worker who wasn't wearing his OSHA certified fall protection harness. And of course Godzilla himself, dropping him a number of times with this unconventional method of attack. It scales perfectly with the X plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 1968, and they look great together on the shelf. So until X plus gets around to making a legitimate 1971 Godzilla in 30 centimeter scale, this will have to do. Flying form Hedra also comes with a scabbed over eye patch to simulate the look sported after getting socked in the eye by Godzilla. This clicks right in place and can be removed again just as easily. Flying Hedora also comes with a solid vinyl base with a metal rod that connects them together. The base is very similar to previous X Plus bases I have in my collection. Here we see the Flying Hedra base next to the X Plus 30cm Mecha Godzilla 1974 base that came with the diamond reissue, and the base from the X Plus 30cm Kong Skull Island Roaring version. There are a lot of similarities in the way the earth, dirt, and rock look mixed with the sparse vegetation. If I had to nitpick, I'd have asked for a base that looked more polluted, an acid rain covered slum with tiny skeletons and rusted out playgrounds. Maybe that would have been a tad on the dark side, but how cool would that have been? The X Plus favorite sculptors line consists of some of their favorite all-time sculpts from other artists, as the name implies. Some of the X Plus favorite sculptors line figures that I own are the amazing 30 centimeter scale Godzilla 1962 whose details have a nearly resin level of crispness rendered in vinyl. The 30 centimeter 1964 Godzilla from Mothra vs. Godzilla. The 1956 Rodan from the film of the same name. The gigantic series 1954 Godzilla, which of course is absolutely huge and a fantastic addition to the gigantic series. The recently released and incredible Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster set. They also produced a 30 centimeter Gamera 1965, which really captures the spirit of that particular Gamera suit, and even manages to convey how it moved on camera in a great, nuanced choice of pose. The flying form Hedra originally came from a studio called Resin Chef back in 2008. The Rick Extras that came with this X Plus release were also originally sculpted by Resin Chef. The Tadpole and Dish in 2006, and the Swimming Form released in 2018. So, the X Plus Favorite Sculptors line Flying Form Hedra Rick Exclusive Edition is my absolute favorite Rick Exclusive version released to date. You basically are getting two figures, two traditional extras, and a base. And from a Toho Kaiju collecting standpoint, that's a lot to get excited about. So if you're still here, let's celebrate, like, share with others, and subscribe to help the channel and to see more content like this. Up next will be the huge X Plus Large Monster Series 25 centimeter scale Rick Exclusive Edition King Ghidorah from the 2019 film Godzilla King of the Monsters. And if you have a great Toho related resin piece you'd like to see rendered in vinyl by X Plus for the favorite sculptors line, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for all the returning subscribers who've been here a while. I appreciate you sharing your time with me as we celebrate the artistic talent that goes into manufacturing these incredible creature collectibles. So until the Ghidorah unboxing and review, be safe, be kind, and take care.